Hello, this is my climbing tower model that I built. I decided to go with and keep it as close to one inch scale as I could. I used some 7 8 inch dowel rods to simulate 40 foot long poles. Since these are 40 foot poles, you would normally put them about 7 feet into the ground. So this tower is only going to be about 32 to 33 feet high. The way this is designed is so you can put your ropes right here and hang them down the center of the wall. You can put handholds down this side and handholds down this side and leave this middle open so you can repel down it without any obstructions. I was never much for going to the store and buying a plastic model. I'd much rather do it this way. These yardsticks are only about 69 cents at Home Depot. And since they already got the marks on them, you, you don't really have to measure them at all. I put J-hooks on this back pole here and they go up to here and you just climb into that hole right there. Well there you have it, a nice climbing tower model. There's the view from up top. In the beginning of the video I said I used one inch scale. That just means one inch will equal a foot. So you have a quarter inch, that equals three inches. So a half inch equals six. And three quarters of an inch equals nine inches. This thing also has half inch scale, quarter inch scale, eighth inch scale. And you can see how that goes. It goes all the way up to 3 inch scale, so 3 inches will equal 1 foot. There you can see it. All this basically does is allow you to put really huge things on paper. And that's how you use the architect scale. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy model building.